Hey boys, so been upgrading a lot of stuff, bought a new tripod, so I'm able to record better videos. Um, it was just a thing on my side where it sucked, it kept moving and blah, blah, blah. So just uploaded a video today talking about lead generation and what I'm doing for my ads. We are focused on scaling our agency right now. We want to get to the 10 client mark, like I said, by April. Not going to be a problem. We have 80 leads that we're going to send emails to and send SMS texts. These are warm leads who already put their hand up to, you know, help us solve a problem. Maybe they didn't close or we never got through to them. So we're going to send them some results, case studies and, um, you know, books and meetings through that. So we're not going to have to spend money on ad spend, anything like that for this first couple of two weeks. I could probably get like four or five clients out of it, which would be insane. Thinking of bumping our prices up from 500 pounds a feed to 750 you know only reason for that is just why not you know start charging our worth and these guys are going to be different kind of leads perhaps we've already spoken might even go to a thousand because we've spoke some of them and pitched them at a thousand i'm not sure um what exactly we're going to do going to definitely be pushing towards more christian content um especially with the instagram i think i'm even going to niche into helping christian business owners this is like a side thing that we're doing. So we've got the main agency, then we're going to start coaching people on, you know, lead generation and stuff like that, just in general business, SMMA and service-based businesses because we have the knowledge that we can give to them. Um, but as well, as we scale our business, like that's going to give us more authority. So once we get to those 15, 20K months, it's like, yo, we're going to be making another like 10 to 15K from the coaching, hopefully. Um, and just add that revenue. It's not much extra work. It is extra work, but like I enjoy the work. So I just want to fill my time up and work and provide as much value as I can. I'm really enjoying the process gonna definitely start working on a course i know they have a bad rep but it's just like something to add to the program the coaching program so when i'm not on the calls with them they have some content to watch whether it's how to launch an ad how to edit an ad how to do xyz you know it's just good videos good content that is specifically made to launch ads which i might not put on youtube because they're just more like tutorial videos for my clients okay if you do want to get coached by me there's a link in the description you can book a call with me and you know you're going to get free value regardless we're going to make you an ad script and we're going to pick your niche and blah 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 we're going to sort that out on that call probably do a discovery call first and then book you in that if you're qualified um i do have something to sell you but that's something i'm working going into now because i just realized like the quality of coach right now is dropped because they're all selling the same thing they're all selling this follow method which does work but i think it's become very saturated i don't think the, the market really likes it as much as it used to um because everyone's doing it visit profile and i think it's funny enough to sign clients through instagram i'm probably going to do that i'm going to build an audience but i'm not selling that framework i'm selling lead generation so what works for me as a coach won't work for you as an agency as well um and you don't have to like spend hours making content i enjoy making the content but i'll be real i would not enjoy making content for home improvement businesses just straight up i did not want to do that so lead generation just works for us um and you can still get quality leads, you can still close people, it's, it's very good. So, yeah, I mean, just be careful with the programs you invest in because a lot of the times what works for them won't work for you. And that doesn't mean the strategy doesn't work, it just means it's not optimised for what you're selling for or who you're selling to. You know, you need to think these tech-phobic guys, I don't really care about how it works, they're not going to watch tutorials and put it into implementation most of the time because they're old people. They just want to get it done. Done for you is probably the better way to sell to just brick and mortar businesses. And then for agencies, coaching is just very leveraged and there's a lot better. Because like, I mean, the agency owner does a lot of work anyway. So it's kind of just fits in better with them. And I feel like when you're doing a visit profile ad and then trying to sell them on the retargeting or DMing them or however you do it. Which again is time, time consuming anyway. Um, you know, them tutorial videos are actually valuable, but to a you know, home improvement business, they're not really valuable as much. And we have our lead generation sorted, so we're just going to teach other people how to do it. We got a call um, with an agency owner we're friends with. He's in the med spa and he's got six clients making around 3K revenue a month. Um, we're going to have a conversation with him. We're going to find out what he's doing. So again, just sharpening my tool, sharpening my axe and, you know, learning the ins and outs of our agencies. What is he doing better than us? What are we doing better than him? And what can we learn from him? That's really what I'm going in the call for. Provide value and, you know, bring it back here. You know, if I learn anything, we'll come and talk talk about it on here. So, yeah, I mean, just a little update. Um, this isn't a crazy video. I just thought I'd get another video out. I did miss yesterday. So, with the goals, I've missed two days, but I've made up for it. I did record two Instagram videos, but one I might not put out. Because it's a deep video and I want it to be edited well. I didn't like the backdrop. So, going to definitely re-record that. It's about when Jesus revealed himself revealed himself as God. That was a voice crack. Revealed himself as God. Um, you know, it said he was I am. And then when Moses revealed himself, sorry, God revealed himself to Moses and told him that he is who he is. Like, I am who I am. Tell him I am sent you. So, 
yeah, I wanted to put that video out. It's a deep video. I was nervous making it because, you know, you know, it's a deep, it's a deep, deep video. It's the truth. So it has to be put out. Um, it's just how it is, you know. Holy Bible. But yeah, I mean, it's been a great day today. Got a lot of work done. Definitely be working on the business. We're not taking any sales calls. I've kind of been enjoying the relaxing times I've had. Still putting in work, of course, staying disciplined and eating healthy. Um, I've actually injured my hand, so I can't even go boxing right now. So I'm just letting it rest for like one or two days. I'm going to be back at boxing tomorrow if it feels better because it genuinely hurts. Um, both hands, like my thumb and my wrist. So I'm just giving that a few days to rest. If not, I'll be back Thursday, 100%. Um, and then Saturday, sparring. I really want to get some sparring rounds in. Maybe I could do a breakdown of my sparring, but I don't want to like put my sparring partners online. You know, it kind of feels unfair to them, but I really want to break down my sparring. Maybe I could do an old one. I don't even talk to the guy. I don't think he even knows who I am. This is an old video, so I could probably break that down. I don't know if I want to do the newest video, just out of respect for my people, you know. But um, yeah, update. Let's get it.